All right, guys, welcome back to another Detroit Become Human episode. This is episode number eight, and um, okay, just kind of threw me off a little bit. Are we back in uh, Android Heaven? Find Amanda. She is uh, she's in a different location now. Last time we were here, she had an umbrella. I don't know if this is like a like some type of like just initial program stage that's incorporated in this android or if this is a, a physical location on earth. Hello Amanda. Hi. I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? Amanda. You creepy creepy woman. That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. Pity you didn't manage to capture it. Deviants are completely irrational, which makes it difficult to anticipate their behavior. But I should have been more effective. Did you manage to learn anything? Diary. Signs on the walls. The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. What else? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the lieutenant developing? Connor's death, saving Hank. He seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this, whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. <clears throat> She's creepy, man. She's very... Very creepy. You have reached your destination. Thank you for traveling with Detroit Taxi. We look forward to seeing you again soon. That's a badass car. Look for Lieutenant Anderson. Lieutenant Anderson, I am here. I am looking for you. Well, that is plain obvious. He's not in there. All right, I'm just gonna go inside here. I'm just gonna knock on the door. Screw this. Ring the doorbell or knock. Lieutenant Anderson. Anybody home? Find a way inside. Jesus, I don't know. You don't. You ring my bell like that. I'm coming outside and slapping the shit out of you. <laughs> Just saying. That was rude. Oh, there's a doggy there. I'm wondering. I hope he's okay, man. <clears> Ten <throat> Anderson is not a, an android, so we really cannot save him. He's not here. That's his dog. He's unconscious. Lieutenant Anderson. What? No. Fuck. I don't want to break that. Oh well. Ooh, that was a perfect. Easy. Sumo. 
I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. Mm, that basically ties in with with us asking him about the dog. Every decision matters in this game, as you can see. Which is really awesome. I love it. Alright, so Hank has been found. We gotta check on Hank. Bro, you had too much to drink. Oh, what? He's about to kill himself. Damn, Hank, you look ugly as hell. What is this? Uh, black lamb. Damn, that's right. That's some strong shit, man. It's 40% alcohol. Okay, a revolver. Drooling. That's disgusting. Or that's alcohol. I thought it was drool. That's how I look like in the mornings, anyway. Heart. Slight arrhythmia. No signs of trauma. Lieutenant. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. It's me, Connor. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. I have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here. <laughs> He's drunk, bro. Okay, take Hank to the bathroom. Shoot him! Attack! Good job. Attack! <laughs> Attack? Are you serious, dude? Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Alright, let's lift this. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole! I'm not going anywhere. I'm not grumpy, what I just don't like you. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. Homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? Rational, aggressive solution. Unfortunately, I cannot. I've been programmed to investigate this case, and I can't do it without you. I don't give a shit about your goddamn case. Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here. I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. Okay. Let's go to the bedroom and sober Hank up a little bit. Well, he's already sober, but just gotta dress him up. Hopefully we don't see his freaking penis. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Mm, hippie, sturpy, streaky. Let's 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 make him hippie. Let's do that. We have great taste for uh for style, if you might say. Oh, he's here. Sorry. <coughs> Are you all right, Lieutenant? Yeah, yeah, <sighs> wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. <laughs> oh, 
Wait for Hank. Dude, look how real this freaking game looks, man. Like, to this day, I'm still just... I don't know. Alright, Autumn Blues. Michigan Brothers Detroit. Soul Records. Many experts are suggesting Hank loves the jazz. Of a third world war draws closer every day. Okay. Let's see what we have here. We already discovered this. We didn't search this. He was eating some of that good shit. Chinese food. This is his son. Oh, what a cutie. Well, he is his son. Deceased? Anderson Cole. He was born in 2029, and he, damn, he was like four years old. Not really. A little bit older than that. I didn't see the, that date. It looks like he was eight or something. Okay, do we have to do anything here? Pick up. Examine. Question. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Wanted to see how long I could last. Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. Damn. He has suicide tendencies. <laughs> be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. Aww. Poor little doggy. Hank is up to some crazy shit, man. Okay? That's all I'm saying. We're gonna continue here. November 6, 2038. Seems like we're back at the uh, Jericho. Anonymous. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. Oh, crap. So we're basically breaking into Cyberlife? Okay. Here we go, guys. Don't let them see us. I'll just follow the leader. This is really cool. I really feel like this game could be a great horror game. Or like or like with these graphics. Watch out. Oh. Now what do we do? I'll find another way. Well, he doesn't have that anymore. So it's not like we can know if he's nervous or angry or upset. Happy or calm or neutral. That's what the LED light is for. We're being bad individuals. Bad androids. Bad androids. This is not what your makers would want you to be doing right now. Cyber life. There it is. hear that? <laughs> Do they not hear it? Oh yeah. The warehouse is up ahead. We're almost there. I cannot wait to go into cyber life. That's gonna be really interesting. See what what's inside there. I don't know. I, I think that's gonna be awesome. Very uh very eager to find out what's inside.
Cyberlife warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. Get rid of the drone? Okay. Reconstruct. Here we go. So, this is probably... Okay, this is kind of like what we did before. If we take this route... Fine. Good job, Marcus. You got it, girl. Ooh, North, she liked me. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. All right. Gather spare parts. Search crates. Um. Um. Okay. Uh, you guys want to get the hell out of the way? Okay. Why? Thank you. Here we go. Ooh, that's blue blood. Dude, you imagine a company like this? That's insane. You were trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? Okay, so this is kill guard, grab and hide. John! I need your help. John! Oh no. Release, attack, hold. Probably gonna find a knife, isn't he? First the drone, now this. Just my luck. Oh god, come on. Let's finish up and get out of here. <laughs> He's gonna do shit. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. <laughs> Good. Good, John. Good boy. Good robot. Could have killed the guard too. Alright, so check the bigger crate. Where's the bigger hole? Check the bigger crate then. What's in here? I feel like something crazy is gonna be inside here. don't know what what that may cause in the future so that's all we can carry let's go take me with you oh he's on their side we can't trust him he took a risk for us we can't just leave him here we can't bring him back it's too dangerous except he comes with us. 
I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. There you go. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. God, Jesus. Let's get the key. Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Let's, Marcus. I'm coming with you. Let's be no, adventurous. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. You should have just given her the, the backpack. Josh, all right, select an electronic key. Steal, okay. Find the key, so. It's a dog. There's a dog's there. Okay, let's see if we can see inside this window. Come on, open the door. You have to be sneaky here, Marcus. Here we go, Marcus. Nice and easy. Ready? Goddamn dogs. In transit? What the fuck are they barking at? Charging? Could be the weather. In transit. They don't like storms. Yeah. Who's gonna take my key? Okay, so. We have. Should we close? The kid's camping this Can weekend. Can we close the window? So much for that. Is Mike still in zone four? Okay, who are the guards outside? Looks like it. And he should be. Maybe we can lure them outside. Does this cause a blackout? How do we lure them outside? So create short circuit, use barrels for diversion. Okay, let's exit. Let's use the barrels. Come on, come on, we got this. Track card. Fuck, what was that? The drugs fell down. There we go. Okay, what do we have here now? So now we can go here. Is this the key? Steal the key. There's gonna be a guard there, okay? Deal with the guards, steal an electronic key, and escape. Return to group. Or maybe if we open this, we can escape properly? Come on, guards, you do not see me. That is right. You do not see me! We did it! Did you get it? Nice. Alright, get inside the truck. It's better, because now we have more resources. Alright, so get in. Hurry! Get in! Yo, this is badass, dude. Holy crap. Whoa. Drive. Drive out of the docks. You like that, don't you? You like that reckless behavior. It's amazing. Wait. Is this it? what he was doubting himself about but whatever a truckload we stole a whole truck we load. had bio components for everybody we couldn't have done it without marcus yes. yeah. 
I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not gonna take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. No. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! I don't know, Mark, you need to calm the fuck down. You're getting a little reckless. I'm kind of I'm scared man I don't know what the hell's gonna happen with this android he's a little bit of a risk taker if I'm being honest Anyways, look at that we got the parts man we got Marcus stole a truck full of parts that's amazing the sexiest androids <laughs> damn what okay I see you oh Feels like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Jesus. Follow Hank. Alright, let's do this. This is where the sexy, sexy androids are at. androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. <laughs> oh boy. Yo, look how dope this looks. Jesus, oh my Welcome god. Welcome to Eden Club. Yo, what the hell is this? Okay. This uh, sexy guy. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Connor, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Coming, Lieutenant. <laughs> oh, that was funny, dude. You're not take my license, are you? Wow. This looks ultra realistic. The investigation's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Hey, Hank. Hey Ben, how's it going? That room there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there too. Oh great. Dead body and an asshole. Just what I needed. Now what? What the f Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned to all cases involving androids. Oh yeah? Wasting time. There's some pervert who uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Good night, Lieutenant. Investigate the crime scene. Examine victim, examine android. Alright, so let's examine the android. Alright, analyze, diagnose. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. <laughs> Blue blood. Okay, so that's the android for sure. Okay. Diagnose. Diagnose in progress. Critically damaged. Crit right, bio component and selector are both are cr critically damaged. So Android has been examined. 
Man, you guys are getting too naughty here, man. Way too naughty. Too much booze. What is this? All right, so choose your fantasy. Oh, wow. This is insane. Okay. This is the fucking future for real, dude. What is this? All right, so this is superb, huh? Michael. Deceased. He just died. Uh, severe bruising. Thermal lesion. Okay. And scan. Cardiac arrest. Damn, was the sex that good, Marcus? Or what's his name again? Michael. My friend. Here we go. Let's see what happened. We're getting naughty. Right? Yeah, victim was strangled. Oh. Oh, never mind. That is not good. But by who? He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been a rough play. Driver's license says Michael Graham. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. Whoa. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. Here we go. Reconnecting a sexy android. <laughs> Explain. Direct. Soothe. You were damaged and I reacted to you. Everything is all right. Is he... Is he dead? Murderer. Facts. Tell me what happened. He started... Hitting me. Again. And again. And... Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Murderer? Pressure? Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted us to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. Tell her what model? Other android. Where did the other android go? Did it say anything? God, Jesus! So there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness. Somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Search for eyewitness. Did you know the victim? Okay. What the hell is that chick doing over there? I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? What the hell are you doing they here? In, do their business and then go on their you way. crazy? You ever had any trouble with androids before? No way. No. Once. We lost a model two, three months back. Uh, same model. That's Just funny. We found out what happened. But Probably don't have any CCTV in there. <laughs> no way. No. no fingerprint detected. Please try again. Appreciate about it. have fingerprints. Need human Special. fingerprints. Income go without a trouble. Race. Sure, sure. That business is booming, right? Probably was this Excuse guy that killed him. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. It's probably the owner that killed him. Shit. Sounds a little sketchy. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor. We got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. This is 
Not gonna look good on my expense account. You're welcome. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? We go to the room. Wow. Okay, so this is the guy that looked. Okay. Is that the other android? Okay, a blue haired trace head toward the entrance. She had blue hair. Okay. Hmm. It saw something. What are you talking about? I saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Okay, last position. You changed your mind. Let's try this one. This better be worth it. Okay. Here we go. She went that way. It turned back into the club. Okay, so it turned back into the club. Okay, so towards the right side. It saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. This way. What this way? There are androids everywhere. Shut up, man. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which direction. Whoa. Yep, there she went. She went that way. Okay. <laughs> what the hell is this guy just dancing here by himself? Damn weirdo. I feel very uncomfortable right now. Okay, so he was dancing and saw her. Right? Suspect out of sight. Check another android. No. I lost its track again. Okay. And all this money and I'm still not having fun. Shut up, Hank. All you want is sex. Girls even come here to check them out. Y'all girls are crazy, man. I knew it. Oops. Where's the blue hair girl? You didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation. Hold on, bro. Shut up. Came this okay. Yeah, my career. Here we go. These dudes for sure. There it is. I went straight ahead. And then I went through there. I turned into the blue room. Okay. Let's go. The blue room. Five minutes remaining. Now what? Hmm. I'm wondering. Maybe this guy knows? Hank is buying all the damn sex droids, man. He's gonna go <laughs> bankrupt. What? No. This guy doesn't have the memory for that. No. I lost its tracking. Okay, so she came this way. Again. Spent all this money and I'm still not having right. fun. Catch one of these here. Okay, so the android came. This is the owner. And she went right there, it hid in a room. To the left. Okay. So 
it in here. Side. Now we can probably ask this dude here. This is the same guy with the same chick. God damn it. It didn't see anything. I'm it's gotta be. She came out. I made a mistake somewhere. She probably. Oh, let's check this Android. Let's connect this janitor maybe. There it is. There it is. She went. It's. Uh, it fell through the uh, staff door. Okay, fled through the staff door. I know where it went. Follow me. Okay. Oh, fucking a. This is crazy. That's why androids are better than humans. All right. Get it through your head. The reason is why did this android decide to kill? I mean. Wait. I'll take it from here. She is. Smart ass fucking androids, man. Search warehouse. Okay. Shouldn't be that hard. Okay, so it says, uh, find blue haired uh, de deviant. Search the warehouse. Shit. We're too late. No, we're not. She's got blue hair. That looks like north over there. Let's see here. There's blood here. She was probably bleeding. Analyze. There you go again, Connor, you nasty fuck. Blue blood. Droplets. Okay, search for blue blood. Okay. She's not here. Christ. Look at them. They get used till they break and then they get tossed out. Nobody wants to read that right now, man. Come on. Um, blue blood. Where's the blue blood? Maybe in there. None of them are here. Nope. RA9 again. What is with this thing? The RA9 reference. All over again. Excuse me. Mr. Anderson, get out the way! You little shit. Get out of here! I can't even. I. I... Gotta be one of these, man. There it is. <coughs> shit. Don't move! Yo, what the fuck is up with this TV? Oh, it's more, more than just one. What? <laughs> oh, and are you getting naughty? Oh no. Yo, you're crazy. Oh, 
Oh no. Spare. When that man broke the other Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. That's what happened. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive. Get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. They have feelings. Make me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Come on. Let's go. What the fuck? It's probably better this way. Dude. This is crazy. Wow. Amazing. We just fought strippers. We didn't shoot them though, but we got we got information and that's that's what matters, right? I I think that's the right choice. But guys, we're gonna end it here. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you leave it a like. And as always, thank you for watching. Truly appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode.